Hey everyone, this is Stefan from Lush and Salty Aquariums. It's tough times out there, but taking care of our fish tanks can make us feel good during the uh, hardest times. And it uh, fits the sheltering in place nomenclature of our new normal. In any event, I wanted to update this wonderful little nano tank. You can see it from here, the uh, gold neon tetras and cherry shrimp are doing fabulous, the plants are well, and we're gonna get in close. You have to forgive the background noise because sheltering in place means my entire family is in the other room watching television, and there's no way I can completely eliminate that sound. Again, part of our new normal. So let's get in closer here and let the pictures do the talking. These gold neons I got as uh, extremely small juveniles and they're still in that state, but they're bigger. They're even, you see those two there starting to display a little bit of uh, mating behavior, sparring, what you would expect from uh, adolescence moving into adulthood. I put in an algae wafer and the cherry shrimp and a mono shrimp are enjoying it and you see the ram's horn snails coming in uh, to to get a nibble as well the cool thing about these wafers is the little particles that uh, the shrimp break free float up into the water column and the other fish tend to uh, congregate over it and pick off little pieces as part of their um, veget vegetable diet part of their they're omnivores, so vegetarianism is one aspect. I feed them baby brine shrimp primarily, which they adore, uh, frozen or live. I'm constantly cooking up a batch of the live version. Uh, all my fish love it, even fish that are huge will find a way to engulf those tasty little swimming morsels. And I love feeding live food because it's the best and also it brings out the hunting behavior in your fish and keeps them vigorous. And if you're uh, into mating your fish, not, <laughs> not yourself, but having them reproduce in your aquariums, then it's a must. Again, apologize for the background noise sheltering in place. Fortunately, fish uh, barely hear that sort of thing. So let's talk about this tank. Uh, you see Monte Carlo, a carpet on the bottom. Now in this tank, even though it's small, I do run CO2. You see the uh, diffuser in the back, and I've kind of taken the fluval rig, wrapped it around this beta tank, which I need to talk about as well, and it moves itself right into it under the hang on back filter, which pushes the bubbles throughout the tank. I have a key piece of driftwood which keeps the water acidic with tannins even months, months later, which uh, these gold neons and shrimp do appreciate, particularly the neon tetra and all its subspecies. The center plant is now kind of one great big plant. It was a few small Anubius petite that I anchored to the driftwood and now they've uh, grown together and formed a fabulous uh, group and in the back my favorite plant the uh, cryptocairn cryptocairn crypts as they're called and I pulled those from one of my other tanks I forget the species exactly when Deddy perhaps but I love the way uh, it creates the jungle of bluish purple stalks and uh, reddish green leaves that uh, seem to just float in the aquarium I have uh, Christmas moss and duckweed in the back, which is beneath uh, the stalk structure and root structure of that lucky palm. And that's in case the neons want to uh, deposit eggs there, or the shrimp need a place to escape. Uh, I like to do that in all my tanks, just create a uh, thick clutch of moss somewhere in the back uh, for security and mating purposes. All that can be done in a small nano tank like you see here. And although there's only, I don't know, seven gallons, maybe even less than that, I am able to uh, maintain a complete and healthy biotope for what, by any measure, 
are a considerable large amount of living creatures. There you see, these are my favorite of the ram's horns, the ones that show red, both the fleshy portion and the shell. Got a group of them up there, uh, and obviously their babies are everywhere in the tank. I find them uh, deep within the Monte Carlo, and I pull a bunch out when they clun uh, cluster together and feed them to my puffer fish, which I have in a couple other aquariums and need to talk about. What else can I say? So this is an acidic tank. It's 78 degrees. Uh, it's lit well by both this uh, Finex Nano Aquarium clip-on as well as some ambient light from that plant light which I use to uh, help grow the emerged plants from this beta tank, which you can't even see the beta, it's so, so lush. Um, but I'm big on that, that's why I call it lush and salty. So for the planted fresh water, I'm big on jungle. I'm big on heavy, heavy plants because not only does it uh, aid in filtration, I love the way it looks. I hope you agree, I hope you're having a good week and are doing as good as one can under the circumstances thank you for watching and please subscribe and oh yeah always keep your hands in the tank especially if you're sheltering in place ciao for now